Hey there, buddy. So it's like nine o'clock right now on this Octo Monday, October 29th, and um, I'm like in the middle of being fatigued slash like um, having to do like work and stuff, but I can't focus on anything. Uh, so I was like, let me do something productive before I go to bed today, and. Um, uh, since I wasn't like up to par to do some, you know, like cognitive stuff or whatever, I was like, let me just um, do something that I wanted to do in, uh, for a long time, and that was to get back to you. Um, and now I have have the chance. So uh, there's no impending doom tomorrow, like an exam or whatnot. So I um, do have time to um, just talk about stuff that. Um, that are in many sense just random, in other sense uh, relevant, but nevertheless they are just stuff that I want to talk about. So, um, you are um, very insidious in the sense that um, just as like winter is insidious, it slowly creeps into um, your daily living and whatnot, and then you just like you you realize it. Oh, well, you just texted me! Wow, that's cool. Um, hey, when I see you, I need to like get you a present or something. You are a very good friend. Yeah, obviously, I'm a very good friend. Okay, anyway, I, I really am a good friend. But anyway, um, um, so okay, very insidious in the sense that when I first met you, um, infinity time ago, which makes no sense, um, I, I remember the circumstance in which we got oriented and it, it's, it's a situation that I have not forgotten, but um, the whole MySpace thing was... Uh, th there was a lot to be learned from there. But anyway, um, then there was years of gap, and then I saw you again at the Asian Food Fair for, I would say, from 45 seconds to a minute at max, and... And we got reacquainted and uh, met for the first time there, um, and and then I I think that's when we exchanged numbers or whatnot, and um, oh no, that's not when we exchanged numbers. I'm not I'm not sure, but anyway, like maybe it was through Facebook or whatever. But I remember you were texting me uh, while I was still an undergrad, and um, I said that I wasn't really good at. Uh, texting back because of my um, because of you know college life and whatnot and uh, I, I really was busy um, not I wasn't like an avid texter as I am now um, and then you stopped and then somehow how do we start up again I don't know I don't know was it last summer oh I think it was it was because I got a uh, keyboard phone like a like a, a a sliding phone that you actually had a keyboard. I think I still have the phone. Nope. I swear I have the phone. Good. So this phone, uh, which doesn't work anymore, but um, this is what got me into texting this whole keyboard thing like I I never had that so the first time I had that uh, this was my second phone like in life so far in life I've had a, I had three phones and I have all of them still this is number two uh, dysfunctional this is number three which is awesome it's like my first smartphone um, so anyway so this is what I got last summer and that's when I really began texting keyboard and everything uh, this is even better. You could just say the message and it'll just type it for you, which is awesome too. Um, so anyway, 
that's when I started texting and um, that's when there was an interaction and a dialogue going on. And I say that our interaction was insidious. Insidious. Um, I still have to see that movie though. Um, because of how unknowingly and undetectably uh, our friendship went from not having that much meaning to gradually and without my conscious awareness becoming meaningful to me and um, it, like I would say for the first three-fourths of this whole like interaction between us um, I don't know what kept you going to keep texting me like I was, I, I didn't, you know, um, I wasn't responsive to your, um, what, uh, shenanigans? Like, I, I don't know how else to say it. Your randomness, your, your pointless randomness. Um, and, and somehow that became less random as I began to understand you and uh, more of seeing you as a character as opposed to this senile um, high school teenager. Anyway, um, so where am I going with this? Right, right. It's like all these like, I'm just throwing like vitriol and like constructive criticism without the constructive part. So let me get to the like point that I was trying to make is that like somehow this all became meaningful to me and um, I, I guess this is because of um, like back then I didn't know of what you did or like how talented and brilliant and uh, charismatic um, you could be or were I just thought you were this like delusional constant cheerful annoying person uh, again I'm doing the constructive part of the constructive criticism um, I mean I'm doing the criticism of the constructive criticism part so um, but but I felt like we broke new ground when um, like in, in the face of ad like adverse in the face of problems and stuff like because without that everything was just fine and dandy and boring I was like gosh like like, like you said um, I thought like you had way too much time on your hand nothing going on in your life and you weren't going anywhere uh, but again that was before I knew of, of who you were uh, I I I think I kind of remember the first time we talked on the phone. Um, and and um, I, I, I do want to just mention that for like the longest time it's been just um, hard for me to deal or just like I felt like I was doing something wrong in talking to you because you were in high school um, and I mean not, not just in high school but like like um, I think you were in 10th grade anyway but um, it's not it's not the um, the difference in 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 grade levels um, that that uh, really matters, I guess. Uh, it's the education level, and that's where you made an impact on me. Is your education level like really um, is is higher than I expected it, and, and uh, I was really. Um, 
uh, I really respect that. I, I respected that. So um, when I found out that you were going somewhere in life, I I I, I, I gravitated more uh, to your uh, text and replying to them and whatnot. And, and now uh, we've gotten to the point where um, like. We are, or you, at least you are like my Twitter, which I, I've never really liked Twitter. It's like, uh, it's just so pointless and whatnot. But um, you're you're like my Twitter. Like, um, it's 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 me making these videos to like capture my memories and whatnot, and you as like this text diary. So uh, a lot of my life exists in your consciousness through these texts and whatnot. So in that sense you're like a vault to me. Um and uh I, I cherish that a lot. I, I do I cherish your friendship um more than I expected that I ever would. Um and like I wanted to, I like I'm trying to figure out something I respect you uh which is which which is pretty um like that's saying a lot. I I hope you know that. Um, and, and and like I respect you because because of not not your not just your intelligence, although that is a big factor, or or the many skills that you have, um, but because through everything you face, um, whether it be through academic. Uh, challenges or health challenges or family challenges or like all that you persist in the face of adversity I think I think that's the word um, and and you've gotten very far in life and I am humbled to know you um, because of what what you have accomplished and where uh, you're going, um, and and your character to me is just it's it's unreal um, how selfless you are, and I try to change that. I try because I try to change that because I'm not that selfless, and I used to be that selfless. In high school also um, and then I just was tired of getting stepped on and whatnot so um, I, I really didn't want you to be stepped on or other such stuff because I know what happens to those kind of people who are uh, of your nature or of the nature that I was and so I changed and I figured that I figured that uh you would not be able to um I, I, I didn't want to see you um being used and 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 mistreated like because like people who are that willing to go that far for other people and whatnot um, usually get misused and um, taken for granted and stepped on and stuff like that so uh, I try to change you um, and in trying to change you I found a lot of wonderful characteristics um, of you that makes you very much less senile so uh like you're two different person like one is this texture person and this other one is this 
humanized uh, person with ambition and and flaws and goals and stuff that needs to you know that that needs attention and fixing of stuff so um and I, I you might you might be another like even like even more um relatable in person so what i'm saying is that as as the method of contact becomes more and more indirect you seem more and more um again uh senile so but as closer and closer um um the, the the form of contact is to to um to be more direct it, you're more um more awesome i guess like for lack of a better word um so what i'm trying to say oh okay well you just texted me again guess what made my night what um Oh, so anyway, um, what what did make your night? Dinner? I'm gonna say dinner. Question mark. Um. Ow. So anyway, um. Right. What what I'm trying to say is that, uh, back to the whole insidious thing, um, how, from the beginning to now, um the transition from I, I don't know what like the level below friend is like so from like someone I knew to being friends to being uh, better friends to being closer friends to whatever the heck we are right now um, like that whole transition has been uh, very uh, subtle to me that's what that's what I mean like I cannot tell the distinctions and that's why I find what happened to be kind of uh, kind of cool um, and I have um, I it just it's it's a wonderful way of meeting someone um, although it took years and years and years but uh, I, I do find that beautiful um, in the sense that someone who wasn't that much relatable is very much relatable and we have way too much in common for, uh, like, it, it's, like, the thing about what we have in common is that it's so, it's so, um, it's like, it's like these weird eccentricities that should be unique to someone is also shared by someone else. It's not like, it's not like we're common because... We have the favorite, like our like our color, like we have our favorite color is the same, or what, like these general stuff. It's it's like from the way we would like to treat our spouse to um, to the interests of of kind of lifestyle um, and and like dislikes and likes and. Um, food specifications and um, and the such like that's kind of um, like those things that 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 I didn't think could be all in one person um, but you have a lot of those characteristics and it just it it really does blow my mind that here was this girl that um, wasn't that much interesting is very much more interesting and so much more relatable uh as i get to know her more so it's um that's that's pretty that's pretty amazing to me no stfu shut the fuck up what my cousin from new york will come down this weekend it's a surprise but not anymore, yay. Okay. 
cool. Cool, you senile old woman. <laughs> so anyway, um, I, I, I just wanted to make, uh, like, get this to you because I know you've been, uh, patient with me through all the, the crisis that's been going on and, like, school and whatever, but I want you to know that I will, um, get back to you more and more. Um, I just wanted to say hi, um, in this format and let you know that, um, when I say that I'll do something, um, uh, no matter how long it takes, I actually do do it. And, um, I appreciate your friendship, uh, more, more than I can say in a video or whatever. Um, I hope you stick around, um, because... We're going to get through whatever mess we're in, um, and life's going to get better someday, and if, I don't know, it's just that interactions will be better, um, under better circumstances, you know, like, if we can still make a rainy day fun, then just imagine how much more... Um, how much more um, fun and exciting or uh, amazing a, 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 a sunny, beautiful, slightly windy, um, but not too windy day could be. Um, so, uh, hope you get the analogy. I'm just saying that uh, life is going to get better and I hope you stick around. So, I'll catch you next time and... Um, I'll show you my room another time, but right now I just wanted to get back to you as soon as I could. So sorry about being being late and whatnot, and um, uh, I'll catch you whenever you get reply back. So, um, I don't know. I, I should probably go to sleep, but I'm going to probably upload this right now and send you the link tomorrow or tonight, later.